Well, they're recommending a mental evaluation of Joel Santana. Uh, I guess he's been on house arrest in his mother's house for the past two months. And they, I guess they're saying he needs treatment. Now, this could be a good angle to get him a reduced sentence. Now, you know, as we know, he took a weapon to the TSA, fleed, they got him. And now he's facing federal charges of 20 years, okay? Uh, that would drive anybody crazy, okay? Leaving his kids, his wife, Cambella, because I think they're back together. Um, and it, it, it doesn't, you don't want to see this with Joel Santana, one of our favorite rappers from Dipset. Um, you know, I guess he's allowed to go on tour now, but he has to bring his mother with him. His mom had to put up his house, uh, put up her house for him to be on bail. Um, he pled not guilty, uh, after being caught and, uh, he was caught with prescription meds, his carry on bag while at Newark, uh, placed on house arrest in his mother's home. Now, uh, the, what's it, per, the service officer believes that Joel's is in need of mental health evaluation. She submitted a request for the, the rapper to get evaluated and also to start treatment immediately, uh. So I don't know if he's going to be going on tour if he has to do this. I don't know if he's going to complete the tour. I don't even know if he's been on any tour dates. Um, then one could argue that his mental evaluation and treatment would do much more for rehabilitation than a pre prison sentence. You know, nobody was harmed or anything. Uh, I, I hope that they can give him a more lean. Yeah, I know he's had a lot of chances and everything, but come on, man. He has kids and everything. There has to be a different way to work this through, even if he was on like a detention center for a while, you know, like going to prison for 20 years isn't going to solve anything. He didn't hurt anybody. I don't know. I, I, don't, I would hate to see Joel's go away to prison. Um, anyways, guys, we'll have to see how this goes, man. Uh, Joel's has had a rough couple, ten past 10 years, I'd say, at this point, you know, with uh, his whole situation over at Def Jam with Jay-Z there holding his album up and then he was kind of in limbo for a while got addicted to codeine for a while as exposed by Cameron and um, then he had the police raid his studio take his music uh, just too much man anyways let's all uh, ho hope the best for Jewels and give him some good energy story tower with JT News hit that bell hit the subscribe button and if you want to run ads in the channel, it's jordantownmedia at gmail.com. Appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys on the next video. Peace.